Spy tools are crucial when you run native advertising. Why? Because sometimes you need inspiration and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Instead of that, it's better to use something and adapt something which is already working. And for this, spy tools are here. Hi everyone, my name is Marcel Sattler. I'm the founder of Purple Black, a native advertising only agency. What we are doing on a daily basis is we run profitable performance marketing campaigns on native advertising traffic sources like Tabula, Outbrain, Yahoo Gemini, and many, many more. And as mentioned already in the intro, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. So if you start now with a new offer with native advertising traffic sources like Tabula, Outbrain, whatever, and you have no clue how the ad should look like, then it's better to use something which already works instead of trying something completely crazy. And so, you know, I don't say never ever try something completely new, like a new approach or so, that always makes sense. But especially in the beginning, you have other, I would not say issues, but you have other tasks in the beginning of a campaign. So with native, you start very broad and you have to narrow it down and to optimize it. So you have in the backend enough to do. Therefore, it's better to use something which is already working. And this is the ad itself. And therefore, there are spy tools out there. When you're familiar with, for example, Meta, like Facebook ads or also TikTok ads, then both platforms, either Meta and TikTok, they have something like an ads library. So you can go there, type in something, type in a keyword, and then you see completely for free, of course, like all the search results in this, with this term, with this keyword inside. So this is possible because Meta and TikTok are the owners of the platform. When we speak about native, we are speaking about the open web. So it's not possible that Tabula has something like the ads library so we can look at it. But there are third party external tools which makes this possible. One of them is Adplexity and today we will take a look into Adplexity but there are a bunch of other tools out there. Unfortunately, all of them are paid tools. So there is no free tool. And I have also another tool test, which you can see here in the top. We will link that video. It's about Anstrex. Both tools, either Anstrex and Adplexity are working pretty similar. It's more about your own taste, which you like more. We in the agency with Purple Black, now in 2024, we are using Adplexity because it gives us some more options and it's a bit easier for us from the workflow. But long story short, from the results and all the other things, those tools are pretty similar. So let's jump on my screen. As soon as you're locked in, you have a screen which looks like this and you can do a lot of things. You can here search for a keyword on the landing page, for example, and I'm just looking for CBD now. Now after a quick moment, I have like all the results and then I can use here on the left hand side, the filter options like a device type, like the country, like the language and way more. In this case, I want to choose English as language and I want just to see ads which are running more than 21 days. Because the main idea here is that if you put it here without any filter, the problem might be you don't know how successful the ad is, you know? And the rule of thumb here is nobody let run a very unsuccessful and unprofitable ad for more than 21 days. Therefore, we like to set this filter of 21 days. But as you can see here, you can put way more filters like the device type, like the country, like the landing page language and way more. But what we are using usually and what I can recommend you to use definitely is to choose the days running. I would select here something between 14 and 21 days, like two to three weeks. And usually we are checking the language or the country, um, even though you have way more, um, way more options here to filter. And you can see here all the information. You can see, okay, what's running here, some approaches, some angles with some seniors and the pain angle, which is usually pretty well working for, for a product like this. And if you click on it, you see exactly where it's running. You see all the details here, all the URLs. Um, you have the trend, the history, the publishers. So you have a lot of details to learn more about it. This will help you not just from a creative side, but also from a media buying side to understand better where you want to run. You can do the same with senior. Um, and now I see, for example, everything which is or which contains the word senior on the landing page.
And yeah, this is pretty awesome. I would not recommend you just to click here and export the creative, but I would definitely recommend you to use it as an inspiration. And the inspiration should help you to make better creatives and make your ads better. But I would definitely go and create something more unique here, even though as mentioned already before, don't try to reinvent the wheel, just create something similar, which is working here already good. But again, this is not a guarantee that this is working pretty well. You have some other features here, like you can search by image with an image tag here. And this is something working, working pretty well, because you see here, for example, if you just search for an image with a tree inside, you just can select a tree. And again, it's not 100% accurately, but it's very, very, very close, as you can see here. So this is something you can do. You can search by the advertiser, by the landing page URL, whatever you want. You can search by publishers to see, okay, this placement or there I want to run and now tell me which place or which ads are running there or by placement. And yeah, you have a lot of things you can do here. The thing we are using the most is honestly the keyword search because this we took usually as an inspiration in combination with the filters and then you can move forward here pretty well. So this is at Plexity. And the thing is, Adplexity is a paid tool, but the good news is we were able to arrange a special deal for you because it's pretty pricey, to be honest. Um, so we were able to arrange a minus 30% lifetime discount for you up to minus 30%. So for this, it's a special promo we have at the, at the moment with Adplexity. So instead of 249, it's 169 per month. It's cheaper than usually, of course, and you can use for that just a link in the description. I hope you liked that video. If so, I would extremely appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and of course, when you subscribe to my channel to receive an update when I upload a new video about nothing but native here on YouTube. Have a good one. See you next time.